Hello and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. All sorts of shouting going on over here. <laughs> I have no idea what the commotion's about though. Let's go and find someone over here. Someone to give us a job. So, right, Joshua Trelawney, let's go and see what you've got to say for yourself. Oh, is that uh, that woman? I think it is, the really annoying woman. Morning, Mr. Morning. Yeah, hello. I've got to give you a harmonica, I think. Ah, oh, I hate this character. I can't remember her name, though. Come on. Greet. Gotta help anyone All right, give requests. There we go. Morning, yeah, 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 come on. Harmonica. Here, got a hold of a harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Ungrateful oh, cow. Fair enough. Piss off. Wait, yeah, I've got these sort of camp quests, these fetch time. quests for people. Good morning. Well, they're not really fetch quests. I mean, it's stuff I find as I'm going around. But the other things I've got to get are uh, like a pocket mirror. Are you busy, Arthur? And uh, a Penny Dreadful magazine. So keep an eye out for them. Right, let's chat to you. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. Yep. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? Oh, no, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. That sounds good. Right, let's mount up. Is that Jose there? What are you doing, Jose? Is that my horse? It's not. I think that's Jose. I'm not sure. <laughs> Where's my bloody horse? Oh, it's here. Blimey. Come on then, let's get going. Right, who are we speaking to? Ooh. Well, it's not the guy at the post office, is it? Jeez. Who'd have thought? Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. <laughs> but how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Oh, do I? Yeah. Hey, Alden, how much? <sighs> this was not agreed. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? That looked like a Call lot. Him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Ooh. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men. <laughs> That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, adieu Josiah. <laughs> I like that guy. When I went to pay off my bounties, he was astonished by how much I had to lay out. I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Well, I'm going to follow, follow you now. Mount up again. Whoa, Arthur's very eager. Oh, which way? 
Okay, so they've just been chatting about the robbery. And if anything goes wrong, we're going to meet back at the crossroads. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. So we're just going to wait for the wagon. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. Ooh, a letter. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, My gun looks filthy. Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. Ah, How do clever. I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? <laughs> this should work. Oh, lockpick. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Well, this is very intriguing. That's some lockpicking, actually, it looks like. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster okay. for once. So he's got to get ahead of the coach and slow it down. And then I do some lock picking. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Must well, be careful. Hopefully this is easy as the lock picking in Skyrim. Oh, slow, 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 slow. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm prepared. Right, a little bit closer. Oh, it's a free country. Whoa. Oh, Back you up. Say a show? Back off. It's a small benefit. Ah. Uh. Blackwater. No one just. Mrs. Chester Damson. Is he going to do anything at all? Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Stop the coach. Good, yeah. Are they going to stop? The woman said to stop the coach. Whoa! Okay. Did you stop? Get off. Wait for Mrs. Damson to get off. Rather cruel. You're <laughs> very suspicious. Who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Ah, oh, do I need my bandana on? Could you? It's, it's such a small thing. I put that on. Not there. Might be items. There we go. No, no! Bloody bandana, please. There we go. Oh, I've got to wait for that guard to bugger off. I have no idea what's going on. Loot the strong box. Oh, he's going off now. Great. <laughs> Undetected, crouch again. Creep, creep, creep. Up we go. That's it, I think we're done. Right, wait for it to leave now. The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Alright, I can take this off now, can't I? Uh. I need to get that off. How do I get it off? Here we go. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. That worked pretty well. So he charmed that singer yep. into getting out. Fair enough. Good, good. Wish I'd been a bit closer to that. It might have been quite interesting. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for one. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, sir. Yeah. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. 
Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. What did we get? It's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Right, so we got Alden. Bloody hell, we got 375. Oh, our share is 187. That was a lot of cash. Damn. Yeah, so there's Alden in Rhodes. And there's another guy in Strawberry who can do similar stuff for us. So that's good. Let's look for our next mission. Oh, a long way away. Um, we got to get back to... Let's come out. Oh, we got to get back to camp. Bill Williamson. Sodom, back to Gomorrah. Bill needs to speak to you. Looks like a bank job. But over here we have got... John Marston. Um, okay, let's do that. I think that's been lurking around for a little bit. And it's not too far away either. So let's get going. And uh, go. Caliga Hall. Sorry for your troubles, friend. So John should be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, we didn't rob this place, did we? No, that was somewhere else we went to. Oh no, hang on. It was we burnt down the tobacco fields, I think. Yeah, that was very unpleasant. Yeah, that was one of our capers. So we need to be back here. I don't know why they're letting us have business meetings. Perhaps they run some sort of conferencing centre or something like that. There we go. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. Uh, Hag and her inbred <laughs> sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! <laughs> I don't know. Mongrels! Yeah, the Braithwaites are the rival family. Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... 5,000. 5,000? truth. For horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. So over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Ooh. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Good, so we're stealing horses from the Braithwaites. Yeah, we did a little job for his son a while back. Because his son is in love with Penelope Braithwaite. Which makes things rather difficult. Yeah, so we were carrying letters between the son and the daughter. So Arthur and the chaps have been discussing the robbery. And Arthur has suggested they pose as horse buyers and then make their move. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in the back, because that's going to be less suspicious, apparently. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, OK? <sighs> All right, then. Hi, fella. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? He's not much of a guard. Someone will come see you. Blimey. Well, you're gonna get fired. So here's the stable. We've got to go round and hitch at the front. We're playing it cool, according to Arthur. All right, let's hitch up here. Good, let's get off. Hitch horse. Whoa. You can rest now, boy. Let me do the talking. Let's just push on through. Approach the stable hand. Can I say hello? Come on. Hey, hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, <laughs> I mean. 
I don't get you, friend. Yeah, Only the finest for come. Arthur. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for Ooh. purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Take well, out the stable hand quietly. Are we going to murder him? Cerberus is a real reliable Oh, stealth stud. kill. Go on. You just knock him out for once. Uh -huh. I suppose uh -huh. he can identify us though, okay. can't he? Bandana's on. Don't need... Whoops. Yeah. Nobody oh, he's going to put him on. Are you going to put it on automatically? All right, I'll there grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Because sometimes the game puts the bandana on for you. Relax, boy. So I've got to calm this come down. On. Good boy. Yeah, come on. Easy now. Marshal, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Calm, calm. Whoa. Go patchy now. Pretty skinny looking horse, really. You'll be alright. I'll lead the horse. Lead. There we go, come on. And I missed what he was saying to the other ones. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Oh, here we go. Run, run, run. Get going, you two. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You Whoops, let's run. get the gun up. I said stop these men! Stop! Ooh. Crap, come on. Oh, he's run over. I think I just shot Penelope then. More coming this way. Out of the fields. I can't see anyone. Oh, there we go. Ooh, nice one. Bit of cinematic death. Watch it. There's guards by that wagon. Sending out riders. Go. I'll hold them off. Whoa. Come on. Uh, they're taking a lot of damage. They're taking some damage. They blocked their way out. The wagon. To go through the field. Ah, okay. Throw through here. They blocked it off. Damn, there's pro horses. The fence is down. Come on. Someone behind me. Okay. We get rid of them in the trees. Let's get through the trees. There is an easy way of turning around, but I forgot what it is. Reload. Okay. Can I? No, that's not it. So I have to tap something. Damn. Come on, right and here, come on. Oh, someone else killed him for me. There's someone. Hooey. Right, it's two behind. That's it, and you. I think he's down, I think he's down. I know he's still coming, he's still coming. Let's reload. Right, we left him behind. Damn, that horse is frisky. Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Keep right, let's get him. I'll get him. Yeah. Uh, let's see the stallion. Uh, where's the lasso? Yep. Right, I've actually forgotten how to get the lasso out. Come on, there it is. Get a bit closer. There we go. There right, there's a lot of tension on this rope. I can feel it in the controls. Here we go. Here's the guys. Yeah. Over here. Yep, yep. You I can it. see you. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well. That could have gone smoother. It could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Be on mine too. 
You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Uh, right, these guys are going to try and rob us, aren't they? Approach the rustler. So if I release, get off. Approach the rustler. Ah. Uh, let's get the gun ready. Hello. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. Pop. Is that so? Sure, Pop. <laughs> I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. They look a couple of bright sparks, don't they? John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. Who does? That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <laughs> yellow and black, God. Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, dear I man. know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. That's pretty good. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Oh. Uh huh? All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good haul. Close the gate, Clive. I'm not displeased with that. Mind you, split three ways, and the gang has to take their cut, too. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Total take. Gang share. Your share, 116. Okay, that's not great. That is not good. You can sell horses to Clay and Clive at Clements Cove. They will pay more than a stable for stolen horses, but less for purchased horses. Okay. Now we've got to go and speak to Butch again, do we? Butch wants our attention. Right, but I was walking over to Butch, and I passed Sean, and uh, you can rob a homestead with yeah. him. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're going to want what I just found. Ew, what's this? What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> I mean, you charmer, Sean. No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches, think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? All right, let's get going. Well, we have been riding for a long time. About a couple of minutes. No chit-chat, which is unusual for Sean. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us... Right, let's get... Uh, let's get my mask they up. Flash the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Lots of nice turkeys around here. So we've got to kill everyone except one. And that one is going to tell us where the money's hidden. 
Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Right, do I need my mask on? Sean hasn't got his on. Uh, let's take it off. I feel a bit conspicuous. So, let's get the gun up and ready. Hang back here. Hey there! Whoa! Now I'm gonna give you and your oh. daddy about five <laughs> seconds to get the hell off the property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Oh, bloody it's hell, Sean, you here psychopath. Let's get down. Fight the outlaws. Oh, yeah, come shoot through the window, am I? Come over here. We got more coming out of the woods. Coming out of the woods. Watch it. They're coming out. Yeah, I see them. Uh, let's get my um, rifle up. That's my bolt action, isn't it? Let's get that one over there. Darn it. Let's get get back, get back, get back. Oh, I didn't realise there was people behind me. Good for you. Oh, who am I shooting at there? There's someone inside. He's down. You're still going. Okay, stop it. Threaten the outlaw. Don't threaten, threaten. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. Yes. What do we do now? Threaten. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right. Take it easy. Behind the the wall in the bedrooms. If you stick your hand between the gap. All right. All right. You go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine yeah, here. Yeah, certainly will. Let's rob these guys as well. Homeowner has revealed a secret stash. You often find the best option won't be immediately killing everyone you come across. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means. Got some moonshine out of that. Let's have a look at you. We're in here. I thought you were looking after that guy. Here we are. We got Thank some you. good stuff. So the bedroom. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Where's the bedroom? Here we go. So the false wall down here. Told you we'd take another problem. Hey, this is more like it. Ooh. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here, <laughs> but don't forget to give the camp its share. Yeah, That's yeah. Don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. <laughs> Never know what folks got stashed. What's <laughs> $20 out of that? Out there like this. You can often discover homesteads by exploring the world. Right, often lucrative opportunities at homesteads. Oh, okay, I didn't read the rest. Can we search this fireplace? Look at this oh, cigarette card, nice. That is Senator Thaddeus Waxman. Put away. So that's right, okay, there's more cards over here, I think. Or oh, money clip. 13 bucks. Sean doesn't need to know about that, does he? Uh, inspect the stash box, gosh. going on in here? Old gun? Is that it? Double action revolver. Do we want that? Uh, oh, okay. Compendium updated. So we haven't got one of those before. Well, that seems to be everything. I've got some more moonshine. And some bullets. Some cartridges. Ah, oh, there's one more person to, to thieve here. There he is. There he is. Come on. 
You're not getting away from me, young man. Uh, yeah, let's get going. Let's go back and speak to Butch again. Or the Dutch, isn't it? Oh, hello, we've got something to look at here. Excellent, right, that's just up in that direction. Well, let's have a look at these people then. Put the gun away. I'm going to frighten anyone. Yep. Whoops. You want to head over here? Let's have another look. Yep. Let's go and find them. Oh, look at all that. Jeez. Stop, stop. Let's come off. Well, what's up with you? Some sort of circus act. Damn. What the devil are you looking at? I'm looking at you, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. <laughs> He's British, of course. Who wants to see a woman <laughs> wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. <laughs> I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. <laughs> the bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. Good God. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man <laughs> wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You we can see, do it for I'm you, really. Buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Okay. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Good Lord. <laughs> You could at least Margaret. shave, sir. Mistress of fucking danger. Oh, God. Um, is this on the map? Find the escaped animals. Let's have a look. What's that? Uh, right, okay. Margaret Zebra should be around here somewhere. Okay. Got that on the map. Let's go and find it. What's going on over here? I just stopped to brush the horse. It's all lies. I ain't never been more than five miles Why? from home. Like you some bounty hunters. Um, make me angry, boy. Um, damn, let's go and see them. Let's sort them out. Where are they? Where do they go? They on this trail? Let's see if we can release that guy. Here we go. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Keep your distance. Oh, you yeah. saved me all the work, fellas. Come I'll on. Take him off your hands now. Son of a bitch, kill him. He's down. Oh, Come on. Why yep. oh, still going that one? Damn it. All right, don't shoot the other guy. Don't shoot the other guy. Okay, try and hit him. <laughs> he's down, he's down. Oh crap, come on, let's get going. Oh. Whoa. Come on, off, off, off. Blimey. Please don't leave me on here. Pressing the wrong button then. Remove stranger. Come on. <laughs> um. Okay, stone hey, or drop. Why don't you put me down, friend? Come on. What do I do with you now? Cut free. Oh, oh don't kick Jesus, him. Don't kill me. Cut free. 
He's a fellow criminal. Come on. I could have a family one day. Please. There you go. <laughs> right, not a word of thanks. Not a word of thanks. Okay, fella. Never mind. We killed two people for him. Let's come off. Damn, there's a witness up there. Crap. Ah, uh, get the rifle up. We're gonna need to kill this guy. Loot him up. Yeah, witness. Down he goes. Oh, the horse is critically injured. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Got the horse reviver. Quick, quick, quick. Revive. Damnation! I've got a horse reviver. You're gonna be alright. Bloody hell. Did that guy shoot my horse? Ooh. Let's give him a brush. Come on. Another witness. Bollocks to hell. You you do this? Um, can I get my gun up? Can I get Keep your mouth shut. Oh, he's down. Let's just piss off. Just run away. Don't crouch. Don't crouch, nice Arthur. Boy. Let's just run off. Yeah. Come on. Uh. Damn. Come on. Um, I think he's a witness too, isn't he? Yeah, crap. Uh. Should have minded my own business, really. Witness to murder. I can't go around killing everyone though, can I? <laughs> I can't do that. I'm wanted. Crime reported. Damn it. Have I got a bounty on me now? Ugh. Stupid. All for that complete stranger. I thought he'd give me like some sort of reward. I've got to slow down, I've got to slow down. Uh, do I have to feed up my horse? I think I do, don't I? Let's come off, because he's looking very peaky. Right, let's let's give him some food. Come on. No, I'm trying to get him some... Right, put the guns down, idiot. Come on. Right. Feed him. Go on, feed him. That's it, that's it. It's a, oh, it's a burdock root. Is that going to do you any good? Some mushrooms. There we go. I think we're okay. Yeah, let's get on. We'll take it easy, we'll take it easy. Do I have a, a bounty on me? Let's have a look. Don't seem to. But we want to get over here. Oh, good job I had that horse reviver on me, though. That could have been really, really nasty. Right, looking for a zebra. Was that a zebra then? It was never a zebra. Right, so the search area is over here. We're in the search area here, I think. Yep. Let's get rid of that waypoint. Look around. Yeah, I'd be very upset if something nasty happened to Paul Concord. I've had him for a long time. I don't see anything at all. It's very savannery around here, isn't it? What's that? That's a big old antelope, I think, or a cow. Right, my animal identification's not brilliant. No, that's a bloody zebra. Ah, uh, if I crouch down and get my... Right, where is the bloody... Oh, come on. Where's the lasso? It's on the horse. Stand up again. Come on, it's uh, horse weapons. It's not horse weapons, is it? There we go, there we go. Thank you. Let's crouch down. That looks just like a regular horse that's been painted up. 
Capture or calm the zebra. What they done to you? There we go. There we go. Come there we go. That's just a donkey. <laughs> calm it down a little bit. Study. Oh, one. Oh, you stupid bastard. Why did I let it go? Come over here, you. Stop crouching. Is it, come back again. There, there he is, look. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with you? Silly creature. Can I get close? There we go, there we go. Come on. Come on. Let's take him back. Take him back. Whoa, 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 why'd you let him go? Blimey. There we go. Come on. Come on. When do I find out if I've got a bounty on me? There are some people over there. They're going to cause me problems. Let's get the map up. Go back to Margaret, who's over here. Oh, I've got a tens dollar bounty on me now. Okay. I mean, ten dollars is not much, really. I have to go back to Rhodes and pay it off. Oh, this bloody donkey. Right, I think this is the camp here. And this bloody donkey, whatever it is, has been nothing but trouble. Right, come on. Come on. A bit closer, a bit closer. We can release in here. Yes. Good. Oh, you stay there, you come, you little bastard. There we go, there we go. Let's back into the area. Back into the area. Oh, come on, come on. A little bit further. Where's this thing? Just sitting there. Chat to Margaret then. Good grief, you found him. I have Our found zebra. him. Well, you can call him that. Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. <laughs> oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. <laughs> ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? There we go. Safe it's and sound. The difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. <laughs> well, as long as, as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. Okay. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Well, let's see if we can wrap this up. It's been quite late in the day, isn't it? Find the tiger handler. I'll oh, stop that. Come on, I'm trying to get the map up. Kleeg away. Uh, right, all the way down there. It's quite close to roads. What I'll do, I'm going to make a camp. Then I'm going to use the camp to fast travel down to, there we go, roads. Then we're going to pay off the bounty. Then we'll go and find Margaret's lion. Here we go, here we go. This is the assistant. Uh, let's get off. Say hello. Greet. Hey, mister. Oh, Miss. Oh, hello. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, <laughs> did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? No, I found your caravan down the way. 
Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't he? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, <laughs> but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <laughs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find this track. Okay. I like how we're tracking, are we? That first set of shrubs. That's where I lost sight of it. First set I of shrubs. It. Oh, okay, we're not tracking. We're just looking in the yellow bits. Are we going to find the trail? Well, there we go. Got the trail! Here we go, over there. These are paw prints. Right, keeping our eyes peeled. Back blood. To me. Blood? Yeah. Shit. Say that again. What's this? What's what? Well, that's my smell. Tracks going over here. Hello. That's not the line, is it? Oh, darn. oh, it is as well. It's a shaved dog. Found your dog. X dog, X lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar <laughs> took him. <laughs> That'd be Stripey. Stripey the cougar. I never thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well... Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Oh, Lordy. The what am I doing now? Half? Put the dog in the wagon. Really? Let's run. I'm going to put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Are we going to lure the cougar well, in, are we? Behind that log, then. Nice dog. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Grubs up. Grubs up. Stay down. Wait beside the be animal, hand. Over here. Come on. Crouch, crouch, crouch. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up <laughs> losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. He ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. <laughs> hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Well, here it comes. Can't see Look, it. I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Oh, here we like go. I said they was friends. Shut it. I'm gonna jump in. I quite like the girl though. She's very good. Oh. Well, I Come on, get in there. She's Close feral. It. Close it up. I'm locking her in. Come on. Close the doors. Close the doors quickly. Quickly, Arthur. Yeah, the girl's nice, isn't she? Ooh. There you go. Alright. Let's go. So what are we doing now? We got her. Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. I've sure got to drive, do I? Okay, let's come round. Let's come round. Uh, but let's look at the map. Get rid of that waypoint. And then we've got to get up to where. Um. All right. Perhaps the game will tell us where we're going to get to. Here we come. Let's right. Oh yeah. There we go. Already. Margaret's camp's over here somewhere. Still there here we go. Good Quite a nice little before. journey. Chatting away. And here's ah, Margaret. I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're going to want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. <laughs> she licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you going to pay me for these misfits? 
Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you. But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So I'd be very <laughs> grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. Oh, very mercenary. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Right. Mission complete is British, of course, part three. But now we've got to go to the Emerald Ranch for a lion. But I think we'll do that in the next episode because this one's running a bit long. But yeah, I've been enjoying this episode a lot. I, <laughs> I do like Mr. Margaret. Great character. Anyhow, hope you've been having fun too. Hope to see you again for the next episode. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay then. Cheerio.